everybody. I wanted to share with you something uh, amazing, truly amazing, that I experienced yesterday. It's a little sad, um, but I've really been impressed motivated, inspired by others sharing on their whispering channels um, their lives. Stories both mundane and quite significant. I don't know how to classify my experience for anyone else, but for me it was it was really amazing. My mother and father were never married. My dad had always been around in my life, but the relationship has always been awkward and strained. He means well. He definitely means well. Um, so that's all I'll say about him. So growing up throughout my life, my mom would have one boyfriend or another. And one in particular had been around for the last 20 years or so, off and on. He's about 20 years older, maybe 25 years now that I think about it, older than my mother. He recently turned 81. And he was a character who, when he was, oh, I don't know, 72, could still kick my butt. He grew up um, a long time ago, obviously, and he grew up tough. At 16, he was a uh, boxer for money. He worked at an ice house where he had to actually carry these huge blocks of ice. He worked at a lumber mill and he told me the smells coming from that mill were the worst he ever encountered in his life. So he and my mom struck a very interesting pair. And throughout their off and on 20 years, they would be happy or fighting, usually drunk during both. But over the past five years or so, while still being very active, he had slowed down some, and their relationship was no longer romantic, but more like old, buddy-duddy, crabby, comfortable roommates. So if I say he's my stepfather, or like my stepfather, I think you will all understand. Well, a month or so ago, he was outside helping somebody, and his foot snagged on something, and he fell and he cracked his hip and often that is the beginning of a downward spiral for someone who's older and such has been the case with him he went into the hospital and they were able to insert two screws as opposed to doing a total hip replacement he didn't uh, enjoy his various hospital stays. But during that time, I would visit him, and while he was being somewhat confused, uh, perhaps because of pain medication, and perhaps because of the experience of just being there, um, 
he came to express his fears fears of being alone um, just fear and that's something I had never heard from him before this was a tough guy who could kick my ass maybe even at 80 <laughs> um, before the fall and now he was a man telling me he was afraid and lonely well he was able to eventually be moved from the hospital and go into a rehab facility and then from the rehab facility we were able to get him home the day we got him home he was uh, afraid agitated convinced they were not going to actually let him leave that it was some sort of trick and they were going to keep him there forever I sent my mom home because this has been tough for her um, I could talk for hours and days and weeks and years about my relationship with my mother um, but I will say she doesn't have a good bedside manner um, doesn't mean she doesn't care it just means at some point um, I had to send her home she she was it was just time for her to go home but I told this man that I would make sure I stayed with him so it was about two three hours and I just stayed with him until the nurses had to get all their paperwork done and yeah, he didn't want to let me out of his sight. He was so afraid. But we got him home. But after we got him home, whenever I saw him for the last few weeks, he would always say he loved me. Now I'm sure he had cared for me and uh, appreciated me throughout these last years. But, um,. When someone helps you in one of their darkest times, well, I guess you start loving them, or at least being able to express it. So here's this man who's been a part of my life one way or another for the last 20 years, showing me, expressing to me his fear loneliness and love well he was back home for a week or so which was obviously much better than being in a medical facility um, he was less agitated less confused but he wasn't eating very much and he was becoming more and more weak well he stumbled probably from weakness more so than um, tripping or anything like that and he um, hit his rib against a doorknob and he cracked that so last Thursday he went into another hospital and I visited I visited him the following day and he was agitated and a little confused but seemed coherent if that makes sense he was alert and would seem to be aware of the situation and then be a little odd or off, a little different. Well then I saw him yesterday and I had the opportunity to speak with his doctor 
and she explained the three different issues they were concerned about. One was his mental state, two was the potential for pneumonia, and three was a high, excuse me, a high white blood cell count due to something related to bacteria in his intestinal tract. So I asked the doctor, when it comes to me calling some of his elder adult children um, to explain the situation on a level of 1 to 10, what is the uh, get on the plane, come see your dad scale? And the doctor said 6. And when I asked how many more days we'd be looking at to get a sense of how he would be doing, she said, well, in the next few days, he he should respond to the medication. He needs to respond to the medication. So I ended up talking to two of his sons, both older than me, and explained the situation. But here's the amazing part. While visiting with this man, my mom had to leave the room. It was tough for her to see him with his eyes closed, alternating between gasping and muttered ramblings, twitching. He was restrained because he kept on pulling out the catheter lashing out at nurses not obviously intentionally but even at 80 he's still a strong fellow so they had to restrain him and this is a tough image for situation for anyone and even though they were no longer lovers and the relationship was a complete ridiculous situation I can't even begin to explain I know it's tough for my mom to see this. So while I was in the room alone with this man, and I had many conflicting feelings and emotions about this character as well, I found myself soothing him. I didn't plan on it. I just found myself stroking his arm telling him it's okay I'm here over and over and I was surprised I caught up short I didn't know how to feel about that once I realized what I was doing and I had to assess was this legitimate was it sincere was I just you know copying things I had heard in the whisper verse and somehow was that perverse and but those thoughts only lasted for a moment and I realized that somehow some way I came across the whisper verse and it was so good for me and what I've the gift the gift that I've received from the whisper verse is that in a hospital room with a man who may be close to dying hopefully not unbidden, unplanned, unscripted. I was able to give this man comfort. In a way I never could have before. And it was comforting to me. I'm very grateful. Thank you.